Okay. Uh, hi. So you weren't there just before? No, you just arrived. That's it. Okay. Uh, so I've I had a little speech about Cblood and Octopus. Okay, and uh, session. So just before, what we've done is uh, we've um, managed um, specific content type. Okay. So I go back there, save it, okay. So go back here. So we've created a content type for the news for our website with some fields on the admin form, uh, some fields displayed in the intro. So this page, just to remember, is a category blog view, okay, from Joomla. It displays the articles from the news category and so what Cblot does is it catches the call, adds its, its stuff, okay, and the layout, and so uh, return the information to uh, Joomla, and the information is displayed as a category block view, okay. Um, in the back end, we've created the form. So now what we'd like to do is to have some um, publishers or even as an admin, I don't want to have to log in to the backend every time I need to change an article. Okay. So what I'd like to do is first being able to access this uh, um, management from the front end and maybe directly edit uh, the article when I see it. Okay. If, of course, I have access. So what we're going to do is, is to create a front-end manager. As you can see, I'm logged in. We already have some managers available um, because I've installed an application, well, two applications. I've installed two applications on the, um, on the website, one to manage backgrounds and one to manage feedbacks. So feedbacks, it's here when we were there. So we have a form there, okay. And in the application, what we've included is managers um, for uh, to manage the content from front end, okay. So here the the purpose of this session is to have at the end a manager for news, like we have a manager for backgrounds, okay. You can see here, um, almost same information as you have on the back end for a content, for the list of content, but we manage background. So a good thing is to have a thumbnail of the background. If you manage uh, feedback, maybe a good thing is to have the, the email of the of this of the person who su submitted the um, uh, the content the content sorry uh, if we have news maybe uh, a good thing is would be to have the title the category maybe it's useless because we know it's a news but maybe the type because we've created a, a type field okay the date of the news the status and we have edit and delete button and this ones. Uh, they are managed with uh, permissions. So uh, I'm a super user, so I've got edit delete, but maybe if I'm log in, I logged in as publisher, I won't have this, okay? I will only have edition buttons, okay? And of course, I can choose, uh, uh, even if, if I'm logged in as a publisher, what I'm going to do is I'm just going publisher, uh, I'm just going to let them uh, access to the news manager, okay? They won't see background and feedback manager. Maybe someone else will be a background manager and will only manage uh, the backgrounds of the website, okay? And so what it is, this page, what it is in Cblot, it's a search with a form here with fields, the keywords, ordering. So this is for the layout, okay? Here you can search for uh, a term in the title, for example, and 
you can filter the by status okay so we have a form here so this means we can choose which fields are going to be displayed there and here we have a template for the results okay for the list so same again we can choose which template is going to be used and which fields are going to be displayed in the in the template here it's a table template which is good for uh, management because you have one line and you have information uh, in columns okay this is same thing in uh, from the Joomla backend okay so the goal of the session is to do the same for news okay um, and so if I click on edit I'm going to edit this one here we are in, in uh, the content form okay of the cblot content so same again here you can see we have different action buttons we decided to manage this form by tabs maybe in the back end this, the, these tabs are not there okay but for the user on the front end we decided to have this view uh, for uh, it's a really a matter of organization um, so this means we can manage this form uh, and so decide which fields uh, are going to be displayed and how they are going to be displayed okay so I go back to the home page I'm in the Cblood application in the backend news so as you can see for um, news for the content type I'm informed we have nine fields two in intro and five in content but nothing for now inside form because we used to manage the content uh, in the backend but now we want publishers uh, to access it from the front end so I'm going in the, the admin form. I switch to site form. So nothing. A good feature is if you scroll down, assign fields from admin form view. This means I click here. OK. The admin form is replicated in site form. So at least I don't have to start from scratch. Uh, so we, we are uh, on the site form. So what do we want to keep? We want to keep the title, the news type, intro, full, alias, maybe on the front. Yeah, for news, maybe it could be useful. But maybe status and so category are uh, useless and publishing options too so okay I'm going to remove this one I keep uh, article access hidden I'm going to to move category back to hidden and uh, maybe the status well no I'm going to keep the status for news okay so But what I can do as an example is for uh, status only super users will have access to the status of the news. Okay. It's a decision. Okay. Um, after this, so I've got my phone. No, now I have to. Um, set permissions for it, okay? Open this permissions. So for now, super users. So what about registered? Registered, they cannot edit. Author, they can create, but they cannot edit. So, okay, publishers by default they can edit, they can create. Okay, so I'm going to create a user as a publisher, okay, and see what happens. Again, as we can extend users, I have to choose 
what kind of user type I want to create. So we know we only have one. To be sure, A, OK. Um, to be sure, right, pub A, password is pub A. Really secure. Um, this is no, no, no. OK, pub A, pub A. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, assign user groups. It's going to be publisher. From here, I log out as super users. Uh, super user. Uh, you didn't see. Uh, OK. Edit button. I'm not in the content, I mean, uh, Joomla content view. OK, you should check the URL. Sebload overrides it. And so we're in uh, the site form for this content. And I can edit. And only, I only have the alias at the bottom, so I'm just going to check. Uh, sorry. Uh, go back here. Uh, from and content type news here. OK, yes, because status is only for super users. OK. So as I'm a publisher, I don't have it. Cannot change it. And what's missing here is a submit button because in the admin form it's already already uh, it's Joomla that uh, takes care of this. So what I have to add here at the end or uh, at the top it's a submit button. So there are already existing ones. So button submit. I've got a lot. I've got seven close, seven new. Search, submit, so let's use a save button. I can change the label if I, uh, if I want, okay. I've saved, I refresh this one. And I've got my save button. I don't know if you see, sorry. Okay, so can change, yeah, maybe date here, save. By default, I'm related to the same form, OK? But I can choose, OK, to be related to the content, um, to the content view if I want, OK? If I go back here, the, the year has been added, OK? You have a remote because there is a full text field for this one. Um, okay, so now we want, we can edit an article, but what we'd like to have is a manager. Okay, so to have a manager, we have to create not a content type, but a, um, a list view in the back end. So I keep this open on this side. And uh, so I go back to Sebloot, but in the list and search types. And you can see here we have the the managers we've seen on, on the front. OK, and same again, you have different views for a, for a, for a search. OK, you have the search form, well, different yeah, tabs, views. You have the search form. You can configure the ordering, the list, and the item. Search form is what we see here, search form. OK, the list. The ordering is how the list is going to be sorted. OK, and the item, um, I'll explain that after. So um, I'm going to create a new one. OK, but I could also copy an existing one by checking 
selecting the one I want to copy. I've got a batch here, and I can copy, okay? I would write news manager, and I will have uh, the whole configuration, so with all the fields and everything, okay? But here, it, uh, the purpose is to start from scratch, so uh, I click on new. Um, what kind of content I'm going to search, okay, and display? In our case, we're going to work on news. And how are we going to display the items? Okay, we have here all the uh, templates that can be used for the list. Okay, you can see there are maps. So if you create a content with an address, you fill all your content, you set the address, uh, you have a field that uh, transforms the address uh, in uh, coordinates, okay, latitude and longitude. And you can search for this content, set, okay, I'm going to use a map. And in the template, you say, okay, which field is going to be used for latitude, which field for longitude, and uh, what you're going to display in the marker of, um, in the description of the marker. And you have your map filled with all your content, okay? Um, blog is, uh, yeah, for blog, but here what we are going to use is table, okay? I click on create. Uh, so almost, well, really uh, similar to uh, to a content type form, but different tabs. Okay, uh, always a title. So um, going to call it okay. news manager. Still in app folder, but again, if I if I had my news folder and I put it there, when I will ex export, I would have my manager with me on another website. So, search form is, so um, which uh, fields are going to be used to search for, uh, for news, okay? And you see that by default, there is at least one because I've selected which content type I'm going to search. And so I've got uh, the CCK field, which is, which can, we could call an internal field, okay? And its value, is set with news, which is the name, the internal name of my content type. Okay, so in the query, there will be a, a join to uh, an internal table of uh, of the blood with this value used to join. Okay, so here we show we'll only search for news content type. Okay, um, so what we could do is to let's say add the. So I'm back to quick folder. So we could have this filter, so we would like to filter by a uh, news type, okay? Um, and I'm going to add a submit button again here. Not the save, but submit. To submit the search. Oh, that's uh, right here, okay. Okay. Uh, well, my search for now is, oh, maybe the state. Yeah, the state of the, so it's in article. Oh, yes. Thanks. Uh, state. So. Ordering. So, yeah. As soon as you change from a tab to another one, there is a save, which is done. Okay. Uh, you can see it. You have a little Ajax stuff below the description button. Uh, order by. Um, so the list is going to be sorted by which, um, which field. So maybe um, for now we're going to use uh, the article title. Ascending, okay, but for news, maybe the, the creation date uh, descending could be also a good thing. You can have more than one, okay. And the list, and you can see here, as we've chosen the table template, 
well, the positions we have are colon A, B, C, D. Well, it's not there, it's a cut, but you have from A to P, if I'm right. Yeah. Columns, okay. And now we just have to choose which field is going to be displayed in which column. Article. So let's display the title in the first column. Uh, the state on column C, or maybe what could be useful is article um, ID on column A. So title, the status uh, may be there. In here, we're going to set the printed date. Okay, so for now, I just I am not talking about the, the um, edition and uh, edit and delete buttons. Okay, I just create this just to check if um, if it's okay. Um, and you can see that here item position is disabled. Okay, why? Because in fact, it's a, a table list with a we don't, in fact, we don't need to, um, in this case, we don't use um, item. In fact, it's a, it's a template where we only display um, some information of, um, of a content. So item here is uh, useless. An example of use of item is in the block view. Um, in the block view template, that will be reversed. This means list will be disabled and item will be enabled and in item you will have to set all the fields displayed in one item of, uh, of the blog okay uh, you have templates where you can have uh, both okay but in this case in list um, it's a really basic list and we don't uh, we don't uh, need this uh, item position okay um, so we've created our columns. Uh, the ordering is okay. Um, I just need to save. And of course, now I need a menu item pointing to this uh, view, okay? Like we have, uh, like we have here, okay? So I've already created a manager menu. Uh, what was that? Okay, so I close this one. Manager menu. Okay, I already have viral manager and feedback manager. So I'm going just to add a menu item called news manager. The type is from Seblod, it's a list in search. And here, which list do I want to display? So, news manager. Search on first load. So maybe you just want the first time just display the search form and have a some kind of white page. And so let the user uh, click on the submit button with its uh, custom uh, filters. But by default it's yes. So the first search will be executed, will be processed. Okay, when the page will be loaded. Uh, it's in the menu item root. Okay. Options. Do I want to display the title of the search? The description. Do I want to show the search form? So maybe I just want a list of uh, results, but I don't want to display the search form. In fact, um, I will, I've already set the search, configured the, the search in the backend. So I just want the user to have the results. In this case, I leave it. Uh, as use global, but by default it's uh, it's yes in the search. If I'm right, uh, you can decide to show the items number. You have auto redirection. In our case, it's uh, useless, and I think by default it's no. You have one result in your search. You're automatically redirected to the content of the result instead of having a list with one item and you have to click on the title or uh, to display the content. If you have one result and auto redirection is set to yes, 
you're automatically redirected to the content of the item. Uh, default order, so uh, we say we said use global, so this will be the ordering of uh, of the search. And here we have something uh, useful too because you can override the values of uh, the fields you've set in your search form. Okay, so in our case, no need to do this. Okay. But let's say you, um, you create a search on your news content and you want to create a menu item based and you only want to display uh, technical news and another menu item where you want to display sport news. You have one search here for the, let's say I'm creating the um, uh, technical news. Here in news type, I set the ID of, um, I set the value of my uh, uh, technical option in my field, I create another menu item, and here I set the the value of my uh, sport field, okay, or sport uh, type, and I will have for the same search, but different results because one will be filtered by technical and the other one by um, uh, sport, okay. But in our case, we leave everything empty. So I save and close. Access for news manager is public, not good. Uh, uh, special, I think, publishers. No. Well, maybe I will. I will have to create an access for this one for publishers. Um, no, no, it's okay. Okay, so. This uh, this module on the right, okay, it's a menu module, okay, so automatically added. Click on News Manager. It's sorted by uh, title alphabetically. I've got my three columns, I've got my options, and I've got my submit or reset, which would reset uh, the values there. Okay, so just some test. Uh, oh, I don't have the type in the, so I should. I've had it. Sport. Only have sport. Okay. We've published, uh, so you can filter there. Okay. Uh, the other one was uh, technical. Okay. And click on reset. Okay. For now. Uh, so I'm going to add the type. In my no, yeah, it was there. So okay, I've got the time. Uh, we're going to add the um, edit button in the next column. Okay. The, uh, the fields for this are already there because I've installed the uh, uh, other application, so they come with these two fields, which in fact are free text fields. Uh, and we, in fact, we add, uh, we configure them to have a link. Okay, so I'm going to add free text uh, edit, and we're going to see how it's, how it's working. So I'm just checking. But the edit button, but well, okay, nothing like on it. So for now, it's just a simple text, okay, edit. So now what I have to do on this one is to configure this to have a link which pointing which points to uh, the edition form of the the current uh, content, okay. And after I have to check also uh, permissions for this one because even if the menu item is only available for um, um, a specific user group, it's always better to do the same for uh, for fields inside of it. Oh, cool. okay. So, I've clicked on the tab number two, and 
I'm just going to move it. Oh, okay. We're in the link and typography. Okay. Link typography. So a link. This is what we want to do. We want to create a link to the Cblot form of this. And check, uh, selecting this, we have a plus button. And we have uh, different options for this link. OK, we can choose the content type form. So inherited. So in fact, we're in. A, it will take the one which is in a set in the list. So shouldn't have to change this menu item. Uh, let's use this one. So I will stay in news menu in news manager. So it will have item ID with the uh, the value of item ID. Okay. Uh, we can add a class to the link, a target. So maybe you want it to open in a new uh, tab. We have attributes. We have a title here uh, for the link. And uh, here you can set a, f um, a specific title, or you can use a field, uh, a field in the search, if I'm right. Uh, the template. So you can add a, a and TMPL equals to component, if you want. And you can add also custom variables. OK, and custom variables can be retrieved from, can be used um, so with fields, other fields, values. OK, here you have, uh, you, you can type some uh, PHP uh, variables, and uh, their values will be replaced in the URL. OK, so I just change the menu item, OK, to stay in News Manager. And so now the edit should become a link. It is. And I'm back to the front end form. And I'm in News Manager, as you can see in the URL. So we WTC and News Manager, OK? And after we have the, uh, the Cblot stuff. OK. I should have a cancel button here. So go back to news. So same for, uh, for uh, this one. Now we want to manage the delayed button. Same here, new column, new fields. Um, okay, and same action, link and typography. Here, content delayed. You want to display a confirmation, uh, confirmation message? Yes, no. Okay, by default. Yes, you can add a class. Oops, no, it's okay. So, leave it like this. Save. Go back there. Um, that's it. That's it. I've, I've set it to delete, okay, but there is always a check of the user profile, okay, I'm publisher and uh, I cannot. So here the best is to set, okay, this field in access and restriction. I'm going to set it as super users. Okay, so it will be dis displayed. Okay, I log out. Login again. News manager. I've got the delayed column with the delayed. I'm going to remove marathon. Removed. Okay. Um, what could have been done? Do you have questions for this? No. Okay.
um, of course you can add as you can see um, no sorry uh, uh, how did they do this one uh, I'm just um, just want to show you and um, I don't know, I don't remember how it has been done. I could display the button instead of. Um, so I move to background manager, okay? So you can see, so it's almost the same. We have the edit button, the delay button, but if we check on link and typography, I think they have done some. Yeah, okay. You see, bootstrap stuff. To, so they added a button and button primary uh, class. And uh, doing this, okay. And so after, instead of edit, you can. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the icon is managed. Um, Um, mm, what did it do this one? Uh, I mean, I don't know if they did this. Uh, no. Yes. Uh, Yeah, I can change, but I'm in background manager. Oh no, I'm in use. Sorry, my bad. So background. No. Oh yeah. Oh, oh they use an icon edit. Okay, not the free text edit. I just want to show you how they did it. It's a type icon and not free text. Okay, and you can choose here which icon you want to use. And after you apply the the bootstrap class to have the button, okay. But you have a list of a list of uh, icon available if you want. The way I've you did it is uh, the old way uh, because normally here we when we did this uh, in link and typography you apply what we call a typography. Uh, um, and add some extra stuff for the HTML. All right. Yes, yes, right. Mm -mm, yes, it's hard to uh, yeah to know which one. Yes, is the best. You're right. Um, well, okay, so. No need to go to the back end now to manage your news. Okay, if you want to add, let's say for the news an image, field, or everything, you just, okay, you need to go to the back end. You add your, um, so I'm, uh, I go there, um, go back to form and content types in your um, news site form. It's here now. You you're going to add extra fields and they will be uh, available for uh, for the front end for uh, for the users who have access to uh, to the management okay um, any question about the search about the uh, management and permissions Uh, it's a basic submit uh, button, and you have an option to uh, display or not the reset. If I'm right, or we can check. So button, uh, no, I mean the save. It's more here. Uh, search button submit. Yeah, and you have the show or by default it's show, it's shown, and you have a task here seven close. Okay, but this means you can create your own button. 
with your uh, your own task, the label, the type, the type. Sorry, you have input or you have a button, depending on what you what you need to use. Um, and just to yeah mention that all fields like buttons and everything they don't have any storage because they're only used when you're in the form also doesn't need to be stored okay yes good question yeah you have when you're in the manager in list uh, no search Variation here, let's use type. I change it to filter. I save, go back here, I refresh, select an option, export. Oh, yeah, I've removed marathon. Okay, okay. Uh, technical. So same for status, same for, uh, um, uh, you can also uh, do this uh, for the other fields, which can work like this. So uh, as soon this these two fields, so this one could be removed, okay, doesn't need to be there. We are working on this. We have a website where we set it. Uh, in fact, uh, we it's still a table template, but we change. We have um, uh, an extra position, in fact, to manage this with an extra variation. So this means we can now sort the columns, <laughs> and we can choose also in the search form to hide or display columns. You can choose, okay, I want, I only want to display title and edit and delete. You check which columns you want to display. And you, you can also apply on this one a variation to have a checkbox instead of the ID, or you, you can uh, keep the ID and create an extra column with checkboxes where you can select uh, what you want and have actions on your list, like an export. Because from here, what could be, what could also be done is okay you have your list of news filtered you check and by checking you will have in your search form an export button clicking on the export you would have a csv file filled with this with the with the column titles It's an exporter. It's a, it's an extra application for from Cblood, so you can export manually. So you can choose to export in the backend. You you have the exporter. You can choose which content type you want to uh, export, which columns. But you could also uh, do this from here uh, by adding some extra configuration. Elisa. Okay. Five minutes left. No other questions. Yes. Uh, in case you use the, the direct filtering only by clicking on the options, is there a button available for reset all filters? Mm, this, uh, you mean this one? Okay. Yeah. Oh, but another one. You mean? Uh, Um, let me check. Yes, I see. Um, not here, but maybe the um, free. Um, Mm, not sure. 
which one are no uh yeah or you you could try to hide the left part <laughs> yes yes uh no uh and i never needed to do this so but i can i can ask i can check after no no problem uh, it's called the button mm. <laughs> So market, C blood market, okay. Um, you have uh, many things, so plugin field, button console, button button reset. That's it. And again, yeah, you can style it with your own uh, stuff. And so just to show you products, uh, applications, you here have the, so here's the application I've installed for the background of the website, the one for the feedback. I've installed this one, but didn't use it. Uh, but uh, so this is, this comes with the, the map, okay. You have a comment application, your user note. So this one uh, are all commercials, but you have so uh, store from Octopus and uh, extensions done by Simon, uh, which is another guy. So works with us, and he has developed some uh, plugins. This one where you can have a, a field a field by other fields. Values you can concatenate them with uh, specific separators, um, and uh, well, we have yeah many well, templates. Okay, so you have paying templates like uh, accordion, but you have uh, free templates. The list one, which is useful, basic ULLI uh, result list, if you want, because our search, our searches can be displayed in a module. Okay, so maybe in a module you want to display uh, the latest uh, 10 sport news. Okay, so you could create your list um, ordered by uh, creation date, limit the result to 10, and set. Um, the type field to uh, be uh, sports, so your result would be ten, the ten latest articles, and you can you could create a module here, so a Joomla module, okay, and you have a list, Seblod, okay, you, you set your list. No, there is already one used for the backgrounds. And you set your your list there, and you will have your result uh, displayed with the template defined in the list. Okay. And uh, well, uh, two minutes left. I can show you yeah, how the um, uh, background, if you want, how the background works. Um, Background manager. Sorry. I'll remove this. Let's say I want to display this image on the home page. Okay, I just edit it. And if, uh, sorry, I've missed. Oh, yeah, okay. The content, okay, the title of the image and description, but don't use it. Menu assignment. For now, uh, the image is only displayed in the Get It Touch menu item. So I add it to uh, news, which is my home page. I save. And if I go back to welcome to Colin, okay, it's there. So I can add another one. My goal manager, I want to add this one too. Again to my home page. 
back. And that would uh, slide automatically. And of course, if I unpublish a background, it won't be in the list. So uh, that's why you, we have some page in history where the background, oh yeah, the background is there, there. So now we have a background everywhere, okay. Okay, for you. Okay. Finished for me.